Good morning, evening, and afternoon. We've built a sweet red white splash black for Colagon the Storm Fury aggro deck, and we lost the die roll. So let's see our hand, see what uh, we got. Excellent. Could use some white mana more than likely in the next couple draws, um, but we'll keep it. Or I should say in the first couple draws. <laughs> well, we did get a Colagon, so can't complain about that. We just need one land draw to play him on turn five. So we're off to a pretty good start. Pass it back. Huh? Okay, uh, it's possible he's holding up uh, removal, so we will lead with our foily sacrificial sandstorm charger. He's woolly like a lamb. A bit more aggressive, though. Pardon me. Dragonloft Idol. That's a 3 3 for 4. Okay. Sweet, now we have all our colors. So, maybe we uh, hard cast Vault Breaker and then next turn dash Colagon. Seems good. Just a 4 2, bro. Not that we are really in a position where we need to worry about. Um, looting or rummaging, as the red version is called. <clears throat> Nominous goblin, the rummaging goblin. Yeah, I don't think we trade here. Do nothing. No. He has removal. Um, if he exploits, it's kind of whatever. Yeah, okay. Sure. Alright. So we will go ahead and get with the dash party here. In the air. tapped out. We don't have to worry about a flatten. Or, well, I guess we wouldn't at any rate. Yep. Getting eight in seems good. We've got two removal spells and a big power guy to uh, keep on benefiting off of this dash here. Seems like we're in a good position to take game one. But you know, exploit can get pretty nanan, nanagany. <laughs> the nanigans that can pop off. Oh, well, I hope you. Well, I don't know. Bouncing would be fine. Yeah, it's whatever. Why didn't he do that first main and attack? Who knows? Okay, so some combination of cards is correct here. Let's see what we've got. 
pretty much nothing. Six mana. We can play a face up a Tarka Ifrit. Do we lose a bunch of value by doing that? No. I think we just dash this again and get him to chump with the uh, surveyor. We've got him on a three-turn clock if he does nothing about Colagon. So, seems good. We've got seven mana. We can play one of our removal spells and aspirant. got a counter. Yep. Main board negate. Told me. Damn. Alright. On the block, Aspirant is not great in this situation. Doesn't get the bonus damage that it does on the attack. Um, not too concerned. opponent's hand is stacked, but we have to assume that it's with pretty reactive stuff. So, like a whisk away is an option. Um, so I think we can definitely attack into this. He might eat our aspirant with the butcher but they will trade so the aspirant trades for both of these six seven eight five so we play this face down dash uh Colagon. seems good Although playing Colgan into all that open mana seems risky. And we do have Enduring Victory up right now. to say to that. Um, we might kill it again through its lifelink shield? Or through its uh, regeneration shield? No? But both of our guys live. Okay. Uh, not sure how that one worked out. I guess he just died, came back, and then got the effects of the life link. That's, okay. It's a head scratcher. Need a judge. <laughs> Overall, we're in re 
reasonable shape here. Line out some more creatures. here. So let's dash, see where he does blocks, and then we might get him here. Although, it might just be correct to do this, because this way, if he has Salengar Scorn, if he has, you know, I think we flip and ping him and swing for seven. He probably blocks the Ifrit. Okay, what's better here? Do we flip the Ifrit, ping him, and do a full swing? In which case he blocks here, and blocks here. Both his guys die. One of my guys lives. Or do we attack in? Uh, that's just the thing. Mm. So, the damage here will... Anyway, we're just going to attack and then see about flipping the Ifrit. I can't see too many situations here where we would want to um, ping or kill, you know, do damage to a creature rather than to the dome. I'm pretty sure he's getting blocked here, but yeah. Okay, if he's dying either way, this is a pointless flip, and we're better off uh, playing Sandstorm Charger post-combat. Oh no, because he doesn't die. That's right, this way. Well, we can still ping the opponent, kill his Butcher and his attendant, and say, what now? Of course, he'll get, uh, you know, Idol or Surveyor back when the, uh, wow, two Butcher's Glee. The old two Butcher's Glee. Not see that one coming. Hmm. And that one, he definitely gains the life on. Wow. Asperance is getting bounced. It's time to just, uh, you know, hard cast the Colagon and Sandstorm Charger and say, what now? Hey, the old double butcher's glee draw gives me a headache.
Yep. I think we just win here. No! Oh, God! Oh. I got way too excited. No, we didn't just win anyway, so. Oh, man, that was still pretty bad. Pretty uh, shameful, I must say. Oy. All right. Uh, my thought was Dash, Vault Breaker, and Colagon Storm's Fury, but my brain hadn't caught up with the fact that our opponent wasn't at five anymore. So I was like, and then he can only block one five power guy. Yeah, seemed good. <laughs> Hadn't caught up with Slash, refused to recognize. That's a bummer. We need a removal spell off the top. Pacifism, not a mountain. Anything not a mountain, basically. Okay. Stonewall. Quite effectively. Or we get in there and see if he chumps. Probably get in there and see if he chumps. No, no, that's okay. We're fine. Just a big dude coming at you. All right. So we are just uh, going to play defensively until we draw our rage or our pacifism. Watch out for that old double butcher's glee draw. It'll get you. Bing, bang, boom. Just a matter of time. <laughs> One of the last two cards in his hand is negate. <laughs> Total tilt. I think we just kill him here. I, I keep saying that, and eventually it'll be correct. So he blocks the five power. This guy gets five. This guy, yeah, he's dead. Unless he has he he had the discipline to hold up his removal spell through the bathe. Or I guess yeah, he does. He has enhanced awareness. I see. And then three mana to do his whisk away thing. scoop. He discarded dutiful attendant. Hmm. Well, I think we win. Yes, indeed. Good old Storm's Fury. Storm's Fury. All right. We did pretty well that game. Um, he showed us not uh, not a lot that we wanted to adjust our game plan around. Basically, he had a flyer, um, you know, just some random morphs. Uh, so, magmatic chasm probably is not something we want to value highly. Over on the white side. Um, like a tapper, uh, yeah, he, he wasn't very interested in attacking. Maybe something like a decree would be good. Um, although, no, I think eight removal spells is the right number. Nothing we'd want to trim for a decree. On the draw, we'll take this. Very nice. 
So now we have return two Mardu Scout, turn two Sandstep Outcast, or turn three Sandstep Outcast, turn four Vault Breaker with an Enduring Victory if we get a couple more lands. Seems like a good start. And a bathe. Couldn't ask for more at this point. This guy is the coolest. He's into extreme sports and collects knives. Yeah, he's got uh, long hair. Long hair don't care, bruh. I'm gonna go carve some dunes. Alright, that guy actually blocks our Mardu Scout quite effectively. It's a bummer. It's a bummer, man. Okay, we need lands. I know we have awesome premium removal, but lands are also necessary. Um, things that kill or can swing through updraft elemental. We it's probably correct to just uh, sandstep outcast and make the flyer, but then you know we don't have anything that this can't kill basically. So I think we're just going to dash. Maybe discard a brawler since it's the weakest card in our hand and see what else we can pick up here. that land we needed so we'll drop that post combat or no I'm sorry but we'll have it for uh, for turn four and if we draw land we'll be in pyrotechnic city and enduring victoryville so we'll be happy either way the brawler no big loss watch I say that we get our opponent to two and it's like if we had one more dashing two power guy Rah, rabble. Okay. Okay. Liking it. Liking where this is going. <sighs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Do we just keep on... Um, uh, maybe it's correct to use some... Or just hard cast vault breaker. Get four power on the board. Yeah, we really like updraft elemental. He's not very good. <laughs> not, I mean, we don't want to use any of these removal spells to address the updraft elemental problem. If you know what I mean. Maybe an enduring victory. But we can't do that yet. I'm thinking just hard casting Fall Breaker is uh, the call here. Then he won't get too squirrely on the crackback with his idol there. Sour Gummy Worms. The gaming snack of champions. And me. Alright. Got all our, our colors going there. And our fifth land. So those two things are live. The bathe is looking pretty good here. Yeah, I mean, it does four, but it still doesn't. Uh... The other thing is maybe he has a dragon. And it's 4-4 four, four Flying Trample, which is a lot more threatening than just a 3-3 three, three Dork. 
Um, yeah, I think we'll just bathe the idol here. Gee, okay. He wants to keep his idol. Probably incorrect to attack there, even, I mean, especially without um, intending to rummage. Opponent hmm. is still sitting back, which is fine. bunch of five mana spells. So no real good attacks. Oh boy. Um, probably do this, make this thing back into a. Uh, 3 3 vanilla. Get it out of here. Um, yeah, we are really not benefiting by having zero creatures with higher than one toughness. This updraft elemental is a very effective blocker. Uh, sucks. It's too bad. But, you know, got a very powerful hand here. Not much he can play is gonna... Okay, that sucks. We are not going to take, I mean, four again. <sighs> Although the trample is just... Insult to injury. Alright, Warbringer is okay, but we have to focus on destroying dragons right now. So. I think we're going to do ourselves a favor here. Not attack. During victory, put the the counter on the scout and see where we can go from there.
so we've got six mana. We can play Warbringer and Dash Shield Cutter, which seems like a good course. Um, and we'll do uh, seven, but we're going to take seven on the crackback here. But the double Sarkon Rage is pretty good at. Uh, well, that's also going to be doing two to us per, so the quicker we get these out of our hand, the better, actually. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we just need to play with a controlling... Wow. That's unbelievable. Uh, oh, wow. To be just, like, what do you, how do you play around that? Two butchers, glees, two games in a row. Um, yeah. At least he can't use it to kill us this turn. But, I mean, he's coming across for seven in the air, and we've used, you know, four removal spells. This is a little bit absurd. Sure, why not? All right, uh, seven mana. So again, five, not enough. Just not getting it done here. Um, yeah, nope, Sarkon's Rage is a completely dead card. Um, Yeah, this game was uh, super, su I think uh, he may have closed the door on us here with the second Butcher's Glee, as always. Um, well, no, I don't know. Last game we fought through, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just misplaying all over the place. Um, I'm on tilt. This fucking sucks. Yeah, whatever. We'll just go to game three. Okay, so he killed us with a lot of uh, Butcher's Glee type effects. He does have two dragons. Um, Yeah, like a pacifism would get around Oy, the butcher's glee thing. Um, I think we just run it back. Deck is tight. We're on the play. So, man, that just showed us our ass there a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, we'll keep this. Nothing wrong with turn one game land here. And then... Uh, if we can, uh, we'll hard cast Mardu Scout if we top deck him out. If not, probably dash him turn two. Well, or we could play a bear. That's not that exciting, but we'll get him out there. Might be incorrect. Mardu Scout didn't do a whole lot last game after turn three, so. Like if he plays an updraft or a, um, like a Sadisi's Faithful right here. Oh, but he didn't. Alright, we need to start top decking some land. Um, Yeah, our opponent uh, ground us out last game, and uh, 
then, you know, I was planning on dashing the heel cutter at least on my attack step there and just passed through it without uh, thinking, really. Okay, so you're exiling my Vault Breaker, and I have manifested a pacifism. Perfect, awesome, cool. Ugh. The opponent must never know that he got value there. Yeah, we just won't discard. We're fine. Oh my gosh, look at the time. to the clock again. Fuck your updraft elemental. <laughs> of course we can't roast it. Uh, it has flying. Yep. We can't block though, so we do have that going for us. And we also didn't show him the heel cutter last game by not casting it at that last attack phase. I think that's correct. I don't think we used it to punch through anything. It was all Vault Breaker doing work. And Vault Breaker's an orc, not a goblin. And a rogue, not a berserker. Two updraft elementals. This guy. We will not lose to the clock. That'll help. We need some lands. Probably should have pitched the Mardu Scout, hindsight being 2020. When given the option to do that and draw Colagon, uh, I think, is what we would have drawn there. Or the second Sarkon's Rage, maybe. I should be able to remember, but uh, this control matchup turns my brain to mush. Okay, um, this feels trappy, so we're going to sacrifice the scout's life. And go whole hog. Not getting the lands. So, see what our opponent has in mind for blocks. Yep, yep, I would probably do the same. taps out, we can dash heal cutter here. Yo. Good. Just, uh, crushing it. Alright, we know. What, well, we have... Uh, but now he's got... Uh, to one. Oh. Oh my god. The fucking... The Butcher's Glee, man. The Butcher's Glee. It's lifelink until end of turn regenerated. I mean, I guess, but... hi ay ay Uh, we're gonna die to the clock. We're gonna die to the clock. No, we're gonna... Oh, God, he's leaving up the gate. 
I just want to untap Sarkon's Rage, you. Why are you a control player? Alright, this should work. to start throwing his updraft elementals in front of things. It's pretty okay from our perspective. Um, his hand is still loaded, but so is ours. I think we just uh, do that again. Dude, I've got like 2 minutes and 44 seconds left and this is game 2. you question mark ah, ha ha there's the negate little does he know we have a second sarkon's rage so we're just going to untap raging again Ooh, two minutes <laughs> don't gain any life no whammies Right down to the wire on this one. Probably should not have played game two out if I weren't getting so salty about um, opponents' draws and my <laughs> misplays. Then I probably would have looked over at the clock. All right, okay. What's he got? Yes, nothing. All right, we got match one under our belt. Probably a little too much ado. <laughs> At any rate, uh, that was a tough black-blue opponent. He had all sorts of nasty main deck tricks like negate and two butcher's glees, which uh, blanked a lot of our removal spells. So we're lucky we drafted eight of them. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you back here for round two.